Okay, well thank you again so much for being here. And let's go ahead and start with some centering breath. So take a comfortable position for your body that helps you to feel awake, aware, connected, and supported. Let's take a deep breath. and allow your eyes to gently close. Continuing to breathe, get out any wiggles so that you can truly set yourself up in a space that allows you to be here in this present moment. And now funnel your awareness down your arms, through your elbows, down your forearms, and into your hands. And keep your awareness in your hands, your palms, your thumbs, your first fingers, second fingers, third fingers, and your baby fingers. Shift your focus from one finger to another as a method of anchoring and centering you here. Keep your awareness on your hands as a bridge from your awareness to your body as an anchor to the now here moment. If at any time <clears throat> you notice yourself drifting off into thinking, if your mind wanders as it tends to do, simply bring your attention back to your hands. As you hold your attention <clears throat> on your hands, notice if they tingle, where your awareness goes, energy flows. Your hands are a grounding point for your consciousness in the here and now. As thoughts come up, just notice them and let them go. Let them come up and let them go. Put your attention on your hands and let your thoughts come up and let them go. Experience the power of reconnecting to your hands and beginning again, moment by moment by moment. Keep your attention on your hands and be newly anchored in the moment and newly available to this moment. Now bring your hands to Anjali Mudra at your heart center. 
together. We'll take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Bring your hands to your forehead center. And together we say, Namaste. Thank you for breathing with me and practicing being in the now here moment through the anchoring and centering breath work that we just did. So wherever you are, whether you are seated, lying down, standing up, um, bring some gentle movement into your body. So I'm gonna get rid of my bolster. <laughs> Although I probably won't take it too far because I like to use props. And just bring any movement into your body that your breath work, meditation experience might have brought your attention to. So I immediately just kind of went to my hands, spreading my fingers wide, and brought in uh, true north alignment into my body. And true north alignment is Baptiste methodology. And what it means just in regular English, if you're not familiar with the Baptiste methodology, is the alignment that helps you to feel centered, connected and really aligned with your um, your true self your highest self and what that typically means is you know I'm kneeling so I'm going to inhale and lift through my spine and pull the pit of my belly in towards the backbone and let my shoulders just rest at my side uh, down my back so that's my true north alignment in this position Okay, and if you've gotten any movement out of your body that you felt that you really needed after our breath work, then I'm going to invite you to join me in child's pose. So spread the fingers wide like starfish and place your hands out in front of you. Bring your big toes to touch and your knees wide and press your hips back to your heels, letting your chest drop towards the floor. And we can anchor into the hands just like we did in our breath work. So you can use your hands as the tool to help you drop in to the right now moment. When your mind wanders, use your hands as an anchor to bring you back to the right here moment. On your inhale, press down into your hands to lift up into downward facing dog or tabletop. And using your hands and feet as your anchor Bring some gentle movement into your body. If you're in down dog, you might bend your knees, you might drop one heel down to the floor. You might lift one leg and make some circles with your hips. If you are in tabletop with me, you might just do some cat cows. Letting your breath, your connections to the floor, keep you grounded and centered in this moment. And then find stillness. Good morning, Cinnamon. Pull the muscles into the bone. And see where in your body you might be able to find a little bit more space 
Maybe a little more length through the spine. Where can you bring in space in your body? Still anchoring into the hands and feet. And with a big exhale, release into forward fold. Walk your hands back to your feet or your feet to your hands. If going upside down doesn't feel good for you, you can join me in child's pose. Allowing the movement of your breath to help energy flow while the anchoring and centering in your feet or your hands help you to stay grounded and connected. If you're in a forward fold, go ahead and roll up one vertebrae at a time, keeping your attention and your feet, your grounding and centering point. If you're in a child's pose like I was, you can find a comfortable seat using your sits bones as that point to anchor and center. And we're gonna bring our hands to Anjali Mudra at the heart center. And we're gonna take three deep breaths as a collective, as a community. Breathing in, breathing out. And again, Inhale, reach both hands up to the ceiling, getting really long through the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway, come back to your anchoring and centering point. Exhale, hands to the mat, and hop your feet back to a high plank. Inhale, lower halfway down. Exhale, downward facing dog. Keeping your attention on your hands and your feet. Lift your right leg up to the ceiling. Bend your knee and make circles with your hip and knee. And again, if going upside down doesn't work for you, I'm demonstrating how to do yoga without inverting. Make big circles, really waking up the hip joint. If you rolled out of bed recently like me, or maybe you've been up all day already. And take your right foot in between your hands. Find your new anchoring and centering point with foot firmly on the ground. Inhale, lift your arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, hands to heart center and twist to your right. Keep your spine long. Keep your attention on your grounding points. Exhale, unwind, reach the arms up to the ceiling, and hands back down to your mat. You can take it through chaturanga, up dog to down dog. You can go to child's pose. You have all kinds of options here. Find your true north alignment in this pose. And from downward facing dog or tabletop, lift your left leg. 
make some circles with the left hip. You can wiggle your toes, you can point and flex through your foot, you can make circles with your ankle too. Anything that your body needs right now. And take your left foot in between your hands. Find that point, that firm foundation, and reach your arms up to the ceiling. Big inhale, big exhale. Bring your hands to your heart and twist to the left side. Noticing where your mind goes as you're moving. My mind goes to places of, wow, I'm really out of shape, feeling nervous from the dizziness that I feel in my body. I'm just noticing that I tend to go to a place of critique. Where does your mind go? And can you use your anchoring and centering points to bring you back to right now. So what I do is I'll press my feet into the floor, spread my toes wide, lift up through my spine. I'll use my body as a way to bring me back to right here. Okay, go ahead and unleash the twist. Reach your hands up to the ceiling. Exhale. Hands to your mat and take it through your chaturanga. On your own breath, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. And try not to judge yourself for where your mind goes as you're breathing and as you're moving. That's what our minds do. And see if you can use the anchoring and centering tools to just bring you right back to right now. Lift your right leg up and bring your right shin between your hands into pigeon and take a deep breath in and a big exhale out, folding forward. And often in the stillness is when our minds will start to wander. So see if you can create the anchoring and centering point that we did in our opening breath work. Maybe spreading your fingers wide on the mat, maybe using your back foot and your front foot as the anchoring and centering point. And when your mind starts to wander, gently bring it back to your feet and to your hands. Notice any thoughts, any sensations, anything that comes up for you right here. Acknowledge the thought, the sensation, the feeling, and then bring your attention back to your hands and your feet. Double pigeon. Swing your back leg around and stack it on top of your front leg. Flex both feet. Take your hands and press them down into the floor next to your hips. Inhale and lift the spine up through the crown of the head. Anchoring and centering here, in the now here moment. And 
release. You can go back down to downward facing dog. We'll do pigeon on the next side, or you can simply let your left shin come to the ground. Walk your right hip leg back. Coming back to the anchoring of the feet and the hands on the floor. I like to use my breath to center me. Holding here for a few breaths. And every time your mind wanders, gently bring it back to the now here moment. Meditation is a tool to strengthen our brain and it's a practice to retrain the brain. You're in a fold, go ahead and lift up. I'm going to stack the right shin on top of the left shin for double pigeon. Create your true north in your body. Release, double pigeon, make your way onto your back. And take any movement that you need right now <clears throat> to support your body before we go into Shavasana. So if you feel fidgety, you might squeeze your hands into fists and release. If your lower back has sensation, you might hug your knees into your chest and roll. Or you may simply be ready for Shavasana, letting your legs stretch out on your mat, your hands rest by your side. Allowing your hands and feet to anchor and center you. used to hate Shavasana because my mind couldn't let go. Teachers would say, you know, and clear your mind, and my mind just wouldn't clear. What I love about Shavasana now is there's an opportunity each moment to start again, to drop into the now here moment, to use my body to anchor and center. So I invite you, if you feel your mind wander, which is normal, to just keep coming back and starting again.
gently bring movement into your body, starting with the hands and feet. Wiggling the toes, maybe pulling the knees into your chest for a giant good morning hug. And then come to rest on the right side, curling into fetal position. And then press yourself up to a comfortable seat. Keep your eyes closed. And let's anchor into the body. One last time together as a global community. Bring your hands to Anjali Mudra at your heart center. Let's take a deep breath in together. Bring your thumbs to forehead center. And together we say namaste. Thank you so much for joining me on your mat today. And what I love about Baptiste yoga is that Baptiste yoga is truly about living yoga on the mat, in the physical practice, and off the mat in your uh, human being practice. <laughs> For me, the last couple of years, my yoga has been nearly all off the mat. And um, Baptiste Yoga has absolutely helped me through my um, recovery from brain injury to um, apply the methodology principles to my recovery. And so that's why, um, you know, the way that I might lead a practice is going to be informed by that background. If you're used to Brian leading practice or Jesse leading practice or any of the incredible teachers from around the world that we're featuring every week, um, it'll be a little bit different with each person, but the methodology, the language that we use is all the same and it's all yoga. So thank you so much for allowing me to lead you today. Um, and I hope to see you soon. On Instagram, tune in, we do free yoga. I believe it will be every Sunday morning this month. And keep your eyes peeled because we'll be doing another masterclass or workshop the final week of October. We're getting that settled in, yeah on the calendar <laughs> very soon. And um, we would love to connect with you. So please drop us um, a DM, slide into our DMs, drop us a comment, um, get on our email list, send us a message through our website, anything to let us know how we can serve you better through this crazy time. Um, Cause we all, we all need it. Um, Brian, Jesse, me, all of the teachers that we feature, you know, we're in active conversation around how we can support ourselves, our communities, the people around us, because we're living through a really wild time. So connect with us, reach out, ask for what you need. Let us know how we can support you. And again, thank you so much for tuning in with me today. Um, if you like movement like this, um, stay tuned to Baptiste Yoga Phoenix. Come find me at Dr. Foxy Fit. I teach a lot of mindful movement through my own business. And I will look forward to connecting with you all soon. Okay. Have a beautiful Sunday.